Some time ago, I had the honor of teaching an MBA marketing class at USC on social media marketing. At that time, the most popular questions I got asked when I spoke were mainly about social media strategy and, and ROI, which is why I wrote the book Maximize Your Social, or about digital and social media marketing tools and technology, which is why I launched the now defunct Social Tool Summit. So this was the first time at USC in my speaking and teaching career that none of these questions were asked when I was done with my presentation. Instead, I got asked not just about influencer marketing, but also all of the business students in the room wanted to know how they too could become an influencer. It was that day that began my journey into trying to understand and unlock the potential that influencer marketing might have for any business, regardless of industry. I decided to go beyond the negative press that we see about influencers and influencer marketing in general and try to go as behind the scenes as I could to get to its business core by reviewing case studies and conducting a variety of interviews. Now, as my research progressed, I also looked back into my past career to try to connect the dots in Steve Jobs fashion and realize that influencer marketing had existed even since I began my career in social media marketing. Now, many businesses and marketers like myself have already been conducting activities that we today call influencer marketing without even realizing it. That is when I realized how broad influencer marketing really was and what a deep impact it can make for businesses who understand it. That's also when I realized that marketers had simply been miseducated on what influencer marketing exactly is. It's not about just blindly spending money on someone who you're not sure where their influence comes from or what ROI you're gonna get out of the relationship or chasing vanity metrics that come from potentially fake followers. I believe that influencer marketing is critical for the success of any company because social media is where we spend the most time online, outside of binging Netflix, of course. But unfortunately, the secret is out. Social networks need your advertising dollars to please investors. So guess what? The algorithm is not your friend and all those followers that you've amassed over the years see very, very embarrassingly little of your content. Well, if that's the case, whose content is getting seen in the news feeds of these various social networks? It's simple. Social media was made for people, not business. And that's why people absolutely dominate. They rule social media. And as excellent content creators and community engagers, Influencers are yielding influence in the eyes of the algorithm and getting more visibility, which leads to more engagement and influence for their content. So are you just gonna spend more on social media advertising because you don't have enough organic reach? Well, guess what? That's paid media. There's really nothing social about that. And we know that people trust ads less and less. So your efforts simply might not be as effective as you would like. Now I've come to the conclusion and I firmly believe that if you want to engage in social media with impact, you have to leverage the voice of others, i.e. word of mouth marketing. And here is where influencers can play an integral role in allowing you to do that effectively and efficiently. Now, if you don't have word of mouth marketing about your brand currently in social media, influencers are the quickest and most effective way to jumpstart that effort. That's why so many startups will rely on influencers as their primary effort to get the word out about their new product or service. Important point to make here. When I talk about influencers, I'm not talking about Charlie D'Amalio or the Kardashians. I'm talking about active social media users who create content and have built community around their passions and expertise, sometimes having as little as 1,000 followers, who even those in the influencer marketing industry call influencers, and they have a very special term. They're called nano influencers because they're smaller than even micro influencers. But whether they are podcasters or YouTubers, bloggers, Instagrammers, TikTokers, LinkedIners, don't even know if that's a word, Twitterers, or maybe even Pinteresters, the value in not just the amplification of your content, but collaborating together with them to create content that will probably be better than your own content is the amazing value. And guess what? 
when you develop relationships with them and you work hard to convert them into becoming true brand advocates, they will begin talking about you when you don't ask them to. They'll promote you when you don't request them to. And there is no limit as to the benefits that they may bring to your business in the future. The amazing thing about all this is once you get it, once you understand what influencer marketing is all about, some of these influencers, as I call them, might end up already being amongst your followers, your customers, your partners, and even, yes, your employees. Now, COVID-19 only accelerated this digital first age of influence. So are you ready to tap into the power of influencers to elevate your brand? That is why I decided to take action and write what I believe to be the definitive book on influencer marketing, The Age of Influence. This is the most comprehensive and practical guide to influencer marketing, which includes dedicated chapters on the why of influencer marketing, how understanding influencers and the ways you can engage with them, not just the influencer landscape that I talked about, dedicated chapters on the employee as influencer, the 16 different ways you can collaborate with influencers, how to work with influencers. There are influencer marketing agencies. There are influencer marketing search tools. Do you buy or do you build? How to build an influencer marketing strategy, the art and science of influencer identification, creating and managing influencer relationships, the tools of the influencer marketing trade, measuring your influencer marketing ROI, and finally, why not become an influencer yourself? Why and how every business should become more influential in social and digital media. And if you're like one of the students in that USC classroom, there's even a chapter on how you can become a social media influencer yourself. You can buy The Age of Influence on Amazon or wherever books are sold. In fact, you can already purchase The Age of Influence in Arabic, and soon you'll be able to buy it in Mandarin Chinese, Qing Duo Duo Zhu Jia, Vietnamese, and even Bulgarian. If you're not ready for the book yet, go here to download a free preview version of it. After reading the book, if you'd like help implementing the strategies I recommend, please join my Digital First group coaching membership community. Or if you need more dedicated help for your business, check out my fractional CMO services. And when you're done reading the book, I would be honored not just by your Amazon review, but you're sharing it on social media with your friends. And when you do, don't forget to tag me. So stay where you are. Keep watching the next video for more of my advice.